Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard the news lately in the last few days, but the USS Voyager A is apparently canon now. It's appeared in, well, we've seen a sneak preview of a shuttle which says USS Voyager A on it. That is really cool. I would say out of all of the ships, of course I wanted to see the USS Enterprise F first, but secondly, definitely USS Voyager A. So to celebrate, I thought we'd put the USS Voyager A into a battle up against the Klingon Negvar. So here we go. Now I'm not sure what design we're going to see for the USS Voyager A, but part of me really hopes it's this one. I really, really like the look of it. You just think Voyager when you see it, don't you? Now we have those really cool quantums. I love those. And we have this beam here, which I believe is some sort of Borg technology, which makes sense. Now you would think, or hope, oh, am I saying that Menegvar is a completely different class of ship, isn't it? Captain, their are our yes, we have a technology, technological advantage, but Menegvar is absolutely huge and really powerful. Although we did see what the Defiant did to it that one time. Ooh! Have we got him? We snapped their neck off. Look at that. That's great. I almost feel sorry for them. Ah, it's what they would have wanted, though. An honourable death. For some reason, my phaser array isn't working. So nothing to lock onto. Oh, there we go. I absolutely love those uh, new quantums. Right, okay, well, that ended a lot quicker than I expected. Why don't we try a fleet of Klingon shuttles? Now, people think the Death Star is the ultimate power in the universe, but oh, I'm telling you, one Klingon shuttle. In fact, that sounds like a challenge. Could, could a Klingon shuttle take down the Death Star? Oh, we've lost our forward shield. These things are absolutely insane. Captain, our forward shield has failed. I know, Brex! I don't understand it. I really don't. Oh gosh, look at the hole in the ship! That's insane! Great, we've taken out one. Oh, do you know what? I have a sneak way of doing this. But, do we have... We don't have a warp core. What? Oh, you, you know what I was going to do there. I'm very disappointed with that. In fact, I think I'm going to have to try that in a minute because that, that, it's just too good to turn down that. Oh, we've lost half. We've lost 80% of the ship, but we're still going. That's the main thing. Oh, wait, there we go. Right. I'm going to try an exploding warp core trick. Okay, now I'm going to try this in the Enterprise E as Riker tried this in a movie that we never, ever talk about. Basically, I'm going to eject the warp core and detonate it, if we survive long enough. Their attacks are draining our starboard shield. For ejection, there we go. Now hopefully this won't crash the game. Right, and fire! Here we go, here we go! Oh, this is gonna cause some major damage. If you've never done this, it's so much fun. But I don't know if it'll take out the shuttles or not. Let's see. Oh, let's watch these shuttles. Yes, we got them. Look at that. Now that is how you take out the Klingon shuttles. Oh, that's quite a bit of damage. So yeah, I kind of got a bit sidetracked with this, but basically I'm celebrating that the USS Voyager A is now actually official in the Star Trek universe. So yeah, what do you guys think of that? The Enterprise A, uh, sorry, the Voyager A, duh. And what do you guys think of the exploding warp core trick? I think it's a lot of fun. You might want to try it if you've never tried it before. Well, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.